Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. We took a trip to JTM Sportsland Firing Range to speak with owner John Sablon to get his take on Bill 73-36. The bill would amend current law to allow for the use of a suppressor or silencer with a firearm. Well, my position is that there's the, the silencer is only has one purpose, and that's to minimize the, uh, the uh, noise level of a firearm. If you were to use the firearm in um, home defense or in a, another uh, similar environment like a, a, a shop or a, or a business, uh, discharging a firearm in enclosed environment can be hazardous to your hearing. Silencers or suppressors reduce the overall noise level by 25 to 30 decibels. Uh, so so it's, it's safer on hearing it. Contrary to what Hollywood portrays, the addition of a suppressor would not make the discharge of a firearm as silent as they would have you believe. Zablon says it's just enough to make a considerable difference. It does not eliminate the sound. It, 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 it's, if you watch all these movies, um, you know, action-packed movies, the, the sound is, is almost whisper quiet and that's just not true. Um, the, the noise level is still up there. What it does is just reduces it to a manageable level where it's not going to be so um, uh, damaging to your hearing or to the surrounding uh, uh, environment. And even if the bill were to make its way into law, there's still a long road ahead before we'll see one of the shooting range, but when they are, they'll be tracked the same way as any other firearm. First of all, you're going to have to have a, a firearms ID. Guam law requires that. So not, not just anybody uh, will come in. And, and pick up a, something off the shelf and walk out. And once they have that firearms ID, uh, that's the first step. They still have to fill out a uh, Form 7, an ATF Form 7, which uh, is an application to own or to purchase a suppressor. That's another vetting process in itself. And, it re and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it takes months before, you, you, before the ATF comes back and approves it, and then you have to pay a, a fee. Once you own that um, suppressor, it is yours, it's registered to you. You cannot just go out and sell it to your neighbor or to anybody else. These things are tracked, they're, they're monitored. And according to Sablon, it's about more than one individual's hearing safety. With the uh, shooting range, our neighbors are just right outside our gate, less than, uh, less than 100 yards away. And, um, and uh, it's gonna minimize the impact, the negative impact it has on them, you know, their, their quality of life. We, we want, you know, we, we want to operate our business and we want to do it within the law, but anything that we can do to help minimize the, uh, the nuisance of the noise, uh, we're, we're going to do.